Do you want a quiet system? Is silent mode way too noisy for you? Then stay with me. In this video I'll tell you how to run your WinMax 2 absolutely silent without producing any audible fan noise at all. In my last video, in which I applied the Honeywell PTM7950 cooling pad to my WinMax 2, I pushed the system to its limits and run it at 50 watt TDP and beyond. Of course, the fan always ran at 100% and it was super loud. After that, I got some requests to test my modified WinMax 2 under less intense conditions, so I recorded some footage monitoring the temperature and fan speed of my system running at 24 and 15 watt TDP, which is the stock configuration of the WinMax 2. With the results I got, I was not satisfied. Sure, the temperature stayed at a comfortable range at around 65 degrees Celsius. The fan noise, however, in my opinion, was way louder than it had to be, even when running the system at 15 watt in silent mode. After that disappointment, I shut down my WinMax 2 and realized, oh, what a miracle, now it's completely silent. So I did the big brain move of turning on my system, but turning off my fan. The outcome was not too bad and I continued to manually tweak the fan speed. With the final results, I'm very satisfied as I now can run my system and play games on it while it stays 100% silent at a handheld distance away from my ears. I did not extensively tweak the fan curve, but instead set it to one static value, which was enough to give me good results. Let's finally start with the tests. At first I will start with something that has not been requested, but seems quite nice for a showcase. Here I am running my WinMax 2 at 55 watt TDP while it is standing on my desk. After a short while the TDP dropped to 47 watt. If I hold the device in my hands, the airflow improves and allows cooling up to 50 watt TDP. It is winter here and the temperature outside is at about 1 degree Celsius. Once I go outside with my WinMax 2, I can easily sustain 55 watt TDP cooling while the core temperature even goes down to about 93 degrees Celsius. I was not aware that positioning and ambient temperature made such a huge difference. Let's finally start with the requests. I will start with 24 watt TDP regular mode and test combustor and CPU set. In all my tests you will see hardware info and motion assistant running. In motion assistant you can see the fan speed. After about 5 minutes of combustor, we've reached 67 degrees Celsius and a fan speed of about 4100 RPM. Running the same test in CPU set gives us about the same temperature, but the fan is spinning a little slower. 24 Watt in silent mode gives us a temperature of up to 90 degrees Celsius and a fan speed of around 3000 RPM. In 15 Watt normal mode we reach about 64 degrees Celsius and a fan speed of about 3600 RPM. Doing the same test in silent mode results in about the same temperature, but the fan is spinning a little slower at around 3000 RPM. CPU set at 15 Watt silent mode keeps the temperature below 60 degrees Celsius and the fan speed a little bit below 3000 RPM. As silent mode seemed to be quite loud, I tried to run my system with passive cooling only. Here I start with 5 Watt and work my way upwards. At 5 Watt, after 2 minutes of combustor, the temps were only at 60 degrees Celsius, so I got bored and increased the TDP to 7 Watt. 
The temperature still rises very slowly, so once again I wanted to spice things up and increase TDP to 10 Watt. After two more minutes we reached 79 degrees Celsius and I wanted to speed things up a little bit more, so I raised temperature up to 12 Watt. At 12 Watt temperature finally began to rise a bit faster. Once we hit 90 degrees Celsius, the safety mechanism of motion assistant kicks in. Manual fan control turned off and the fan begins to spin up. Once again we'll start testing passive cooling. This time we'll see how long it takes for the system to heat up until the safety mechanism kicks in. After about 8 minutes we went from 65 degrees Celsius to 90. This is quite a long time and if you are running your system under normal use conditions, running at 10 Watt TDP should not be a big problem. Same test, but 12 Watt this time. It took us around 3.5 minutes to reach the temperature limit. One last time, 15 Watt this time. At 15 Watt TDP, temperature rises quite fast and it took us about 2 minutes to go from below 60 degrees Celsius to above 90. Passive cooling only works quite well while watching YouTube. As a real life test, I watched a YouTube documentation for about 20 minutes. The TDP stayed at about 5 to 6 Watt and the temperature did not rise above the mid 60s. So for your everyday browsing and light desktop work, you can safely disable the fan completely and enjoy a 100% silent system. Now we enable the fan, but control the fan speed manually. We start with 10 watt TDP and 25% fan speed. The 1200 RPM we reach is not even half of what silent mode can reach at maximum speeds. Temperatures are rising slowly and after about 5 minutes we went from 59 degree core temperature to 68. To make things more interesting I increased TDP up to 12 Watt. In addition I also increased fan speed to 30%. That's a little bit above 1500 RPM and about half of what silent mode can reach at its maximum. When holding the device in my hands at 25% speed, the fan is 100% silent to me. I only hear it if I hold the device close to my ears. At 30% the fan is still very very silent and I can barely hear it. I still consider 30% silent as there is no chance that I can hear the fan if there is any game sound going on. It's really just a very subtle noise but its cooling power is quite good already. After over one minute temperature increased by about 0.4 degrees celsius and I decided to raise TDP up to 15 watt. After seven more minutes we gained only 6 degrees celsius so I decided to raise the TDP up to 17 Watt. TDP still rises very slowly and after one more minute I increased TDP once more. We finally reached the thermal limit now as we were already at our 80s. Let's end our test session with two tests under regular gaming conditions. At first we are going to test dead cells. We set the fan speed to 25% which means that the fan is completely silent and even without any game sound we do not really hear it. The game runs between 7 and 11 watt. I have played through one biome which took me about 12 minutes. During that time the temperature stayed consistently between 60 and 67 degrees celsius. So playing games at low TDP is possible in 100% silent mode without heating the device too much. The next test is Sigurat 2. We are using the same settings as for dead cells, but the power draw is a lot higher. 
during the first floor and playing through, defense speed is set to 25%. Now, 5 minutes later, at the boss fight, we reached almost 80 degrees. To stop temperatures from rising even more, I set defense speed to 30%. This is still super silent and while there is a game sound going on, you cannot hear the fan at all. However, that small increase in fan speed helps to stabilize the core temperature at around 77 degrees Celsius. After playing at 30% fan speed a little bit, I decided to increase fan speed a little bit more. After an additional 5 minutes of gaming, I could bring down the core temperature to a comfortable 70 degrees Celsius. Having the fan speed set to 35% was still super super silent to me while there was constant background music of the game. And here you have it, running the Winmix 2 in super silent mode. In my first video of the silent mode series, we put some foam between the fan and the housing to damper the fan vibrations. In my second video, we applied the Honeywell PTM7950 cooling pad, which increased our cooling power by quite a bit, which allowed us to play games at 50 watt TDP in normal mode and 35 watt TDP in regular silent mode. In this video, which is the third and hopefully final video of the super silent mode series, we manually tweak the fan speed so that the fan is not audible at all. Still, during our test, we could play a game which used up to 17 watt TDP, which is more than the 15 watt TDP at which regular silent mode is kept at. With those results, the super loud fan noise, which was almost a deal breaker to me, is completely gone and the GPD WinMax 2 is the most silent GPD device I've seen till this date. I hope this is useful for you, feel free to ask any questions in the comments or on Discord and see you next time. Bye bye!